back in 1999, the Lake Powell and Lake Mead were at 95% of capacity. Uh, starting the period of 2000 to 2005, we entered in the driest five-year period ever seen on record, and that capacity dropped from 95% to below 50%. So that led water managers to think about what the next steps are as the lower basin and the Colorado River Basin has never faced a shortage previously. So what we did was we uh, entered into a proactive agreement that we call the 2007 Interim Guidelines, and that's what creates the uh, shortage level triggers, which you may have heard, which start at elevation 1075 in Lake Mead. As we uh, proceeded past uh, 2007 and the drought persisted and it kept uh, beating the odds of how long it would be and it kept going on, uh, what we found was that hydro hydrologic models showed that the lakes, Powell and Lake Mead elevations were continuing going, showing a greater decline than the interim guidelines could protect against. So again, proactively, the Colorado River Seven Basin States and the Bureau of Reclamation came together uh, with the Drought Contingency Plan. Uh, that Drought Contingency Plan is an overlay above and beyond the reductions in the interim guidelines by way of water savings contribution, and those started at an elevation of 1090. In 2018, we had one of the driest years on record. Uh, the observed inflow to Lake Powell was only 43% of average. Uh, if you look at where we are here in 2019, the observed April through July runoff is 145% of average. So it's been a great runoff year. However, we couldn't have predicted that previously. The Colorado River Basin's highly variable um, with the inflows. So uh, with the models that we were going off of of 2018, uh, we were predicting to possibly be enter into a shortage in the year 2019 and 2020. Um, currently with the drought contingency plan in place, uh, we are not going to be in a shortage condition uh, under the interim guidelines. However, because the August 24 month study uh, projects the end of calendar year elevation in Lake Mead to be below elevation 1090, uh, that means the drought contingency plan uh, water savings contributions are in effect and therefore uh, Arizona will contribute 192,000 acre feet. Uh, Nevada will contribute 8,000 acre feet. And through the Binational Water Scarcity Contingency Plan, which is Mexico's version of the drought contingency plan, they'll contribute 41,000 acre feet of drought uh, water savings contributions to protect Lake Powell and Lake Mead from dropping too quickly. Per the Boulder Canyon Project Act of 1928, it's actually the act that authorized the construction of Hoover Dam. Uh, California gets a portion 4.4 million acre feet annually, Nevada gets 300,000 acre feet annually, and Arizona gets 2.8 million acre feet annually. That's the state's entitlement. Um, that is a total lower basin uh, apportionment of 7.5 million acre feet. Uh, the upper basin is also apportioned 7.5 million acre feet. Uh, so what that means is uh, because the reductions uh, given the drought contingency plan will bring those uh, diversions less than 7.5 million acre feet once you add them to Arizona and Nevada and Mexico uh, you'll see more water being left in Lake Mead.